How to save consistently. Check this out. 1. Understand your finances. Life is uncertain. There are moments when you're abundant and stable, and there are instances wherein you find yourself scrambling to pay your bills. This is why saving money is very important. It provides a safety net you can fall back on when financial luck is not on your side. The planning part of saving money is easy, but sticking to the practice can be challenging. The most important tip for saving money is learning how to budget. You need to control your finances and track every single cent that comes out of your pocket. Review your revenue streams and track how much money comes in every month. Take note of the amount that goes out on paying the bills, settle your debt, and list your monthly spending on food, vacations, personal items, and more. Whatever is left is the amount that you must set aside. But before you begin, you also need to assess your monthly expenditures and check if you are overspending. If you find yourself paying for things that are not important, like streaming subscriptions, takeout meals, and vices like cigarettes, alcohol, or coffee shop trips, you will need to cut back on them at least until your monthly income increases. 2. Pay all of your debts. Debts are a burden, and if you are still carrying them, you need to pay them off immediately. If you delay paying your debts, especially credit card debts, they'll just grow larger and larger due to the interest rate added to them. However, if you pay off your debts as soon as your income comes in, you can wipe them out in no time and even pay off the interest that has built up over the years. Sure it may not be easy, and you may have to tighten your belt a bit, but it is a sacrifice you must make if you want to put your money in your savings. Aside from paying off your existing debt, it is also important to avoid loans and other debts in the future. This is because you will just find yourself in the same place if you keep borrowing money, may it be from other people, the bank, or lending companies. 3. Open a savings account. Another rule that you need to follow before saving is opening a bank account that is only meant for the money that you've set aside for emergencies. Putting your savings in a place you can easily access may tempt you to dip into them whenever you need to pay for something or when you're on a spending spree. If your savings are in a bank account, you will be forced to stick to your budget, and you will not be tempted to buy anything unnecessary. To help encourage you to save your extra bucks, it is best to set a target and create a timeline. For example, if you've always dreamed of having your own car, you can write down the amount that you are going to deposit every month. Save money in your account until you reach the amount needed for a down payment. Not only will this motivate you to keep your hands off your account, but this will also ignite excitement within you. This is because you know you'll be able to purchase your own car soon. 4. Schedule the days that you splurge and put a limit to it. Everybody loves to shop, whether for items you need, like clothes, groceries, furniture, and personal care, or things that give you gratification, like albums, books, magazines, toys, and more. However, if your wallet goes empty by the end of the day, it means you've gone overboard, which is not a good sign. The serotonin that hits you when you purchase an item that you like fades, and to get that high again, you may succumb to the temptation of spending money on shopping again, and this is how shopaholics are born. This is a slippery slope, and it won't be easy to pick yourself back up if you go down that road. So before going to the mall, list the things you know you can afford to buy, and stick to your list no matter what. 5. Eat at home. Growing up, you probably heard your parents say there is food at home whenever you tell them you want some McDonald's. Now, you may have realized that they had a point. Eating out all the time is one of the quickest ways to overspend. Restaurants are expensive, and drinks alone cost a couple of bucks. As for fast food chains, they are considerably cheaper, but they still cost a lot if you compute how much you spend on them every month. The best way to cut back on these expenses on food is by cooking and preparing meals at home. You can try many recipes that are just as good as the dishes served at restaurants. The upside to this is the meals that you have at home last for at least two days, which means you've cut back at least half of your food expenses. 6. Limit your vacation. This one can be very difficult because people need to relax and rewind from time to time, but going on a full-blown vacation costs a lot of money. Not only are airline tickets expensive, especially during the peak season, but you also need to consider the money that you will set aside for the hotel room, tours, food, souvenir items, and more. 
If you want to unwind and de-stress, decorate a space in your home and use it as a designated area for a staycation. You can read books, watch movies, listen to music, or sleep. 7. Take up a side hustle. What better way to increase your monthly income than to take up a side gig? You can apply for a part-time job, be a freelancer, or you can start a small business to increase your profits. You can use the money that you get from your side hustles for your daily expenses, or you can put them all in your savings account. That way, you won't have to use the money that you make from your primary source of income. However, be careful not to overwork yourself. Put your physical and mental health first and let your side hustles go if you think you can't pull it off anymore. 8. Let go of your vices. Smoking and drinking are unnecessary expenses. Sure, a bottle of wine and a pack of cigarettes don't cost that much when you buy them. But if you put the money that you spend on these vices into your account, you'd be surprised how much you'll set aside. It will take a lot of discipline to quit these vices, and it is a lot more challenging if you decide to quit cold turkey. What you can do is to cut back on cigarettes and alcohol slowly and get into other habits like exercising until you find yourself not craving them anymore. Running and weightlifting will help you leave those cigarettes behind since you'll need a healthy set of lungs to pull off your routines. Then, divert your attention to something else and focus on your health. If you're still finding it difficult to let go of these bad habits, you can reach out to support groups to guide you. 9. Learn to fix things. Plumbers, gardeners, cleaners, housemaids, and other extra help cost hundreds to thousands of dollars every month. They may be important in maintaining your home, but you can easily do the services that they offer. It would help if you started learning how to check your plumbing, cook your meals, sew your clothes, clean your house, mow your lawn, and do your laundry. Then, the money that you get to save in doing these household chores on your own can be deposited in your bank account. Once you've mastered these skills, you can even offer your services to other people and make them your extra source of income. This way, you won't have to spend money. Instead, you'll have another way to earn them. 10. Sell the items you don't need anymore. Look around your house and check items that you hardly use anymore. You can organize a garage sale. Or you can open an online shop and put the money that you got from the sales in your account. You can use the power of social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook to set up a virtual market and sell your pre-loved items. Not only will it help you declutter your home and make room for more important things, but you can also increase the amount of money that you put into your savings. Remember that saving money does not mean you can't have fun, it just means that you need to be smarter about it. As long as you follow the money-saving tips and put them into practice, you'll be surprised by how much you can raise, and you can face the future confidently. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.